Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I wanted to show you how many different ways you can create a wood sign using different techniques. I have created many signs over the years and used different techniques for each one. I have compiled the short video showing you clips from previous videos that I created. In this video, I will show you five different ways of applying vinyl stencils, chalkboard vinyl, and reverse weeding to boards by either using spray paint, stain, or acrylic paint. So let's get started. Every wood board you start with, you will need to sand and prep. That is the most important part of creating a sign. If you don't have good wood to start with, your project is not going to work. As with every board you begin with, put the time in to prep. That is the most important tip I can give you. If you don't have well sanded and clean wood to begin with, the rest of your project will be ruined. In this first and second video, I am using dollar store liners as my stencil and laying them down on a wood board that I had sanded and cleaned off. This is one of the simplest methods to use and doesn't cost much due to using dollar store liners instead of vinyl. You will need to start with the stencil which I have created from dollar store liners then place the words over the board. I scraped down really well, then I spray painted over the letters, let them dry, took off the letters using my weeding tool. If your sign is outside, I would recommend using some sort of polyurethane on your sign to keep from weathering. In this next video, I am doing a different technique. This time I'm using Oracle 651 vinyl to put directly on my wood sign. I started in Design Space, cut out my wording with my Cricut machine, weeded my design, put transfer tape over the vinyl, then put the vinyl over my wood sign that I had prepped and painted white. To finish it, I carefully peeled back my transfer tape, leaving behind just the vinyl. So simple, yet so beautiful. One of my favorite ways to make signs. This video is by far the most popular video I have created. To see the full tutorial on how I created these, please go back to the beginning of my videos. It was one of the first signs I published. This one was done on the same process as the last video, but instead of paint, I used stain and put the vinyl words over the top. I finished it up with some twine on each side of the sign. This one sold at a craft benefit very quickly and people are asking me to create more of these signs. This next video I created a Christmas sign using Oracle 651 and some chalkboard vinyl. I prepped my wood by sanding it really well, then spray painted it with a dark red color. I created my stencil in design space. This one was a bit different as I used chalk vinyl for the first time. I love using the chalk vinyl because it was an easy and fun way for kids to count down each day until Christmas was here. This next video was my first time in creating a reverse sign using the reverse weeding method. It was easier than I had thought. I had first started with a clean sanded board and painted it white on both sides. While that was drying, I created my design in design space. Since it was a larger board, I had to slice my vinyl into several different pieces. If you would like to see how I did that, please go back to this particular video. I will link it below. After I attached the stencil to my board, I proceeded to paint the white over the whole board and over the stencil, which will ensure that the next paint colors will not leak through. After letting the white paint dry, I then painted over the white with different colors. Once that was dry, I then peeled off the vinyl very carefully and worked on the other side of the sign, doing the same process using the reverse weeding method. I love how this turned out and will definitely be creating more of these reverse signs. If you want to see the back side of the sign, please look at the video link below. I will leave the full video URL in the description box below for all of the video clips I used. I hope this quick video helps you out. I really enjoy creating crafts, especially signs, and they sell really well at craft fairs. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I post a few craft videos per week, and I love crafting and sharing how I create these crafts with you. The possibilities are endless. Have fun, and as always, happy crafting, everyone.